Well, all right, all right. So this should be a really quick video. Uh, how many of you guys out there know the difference between an STL file and a STEP file? If not, maybe I can give a quick explanation. Um, so the STL file, say if, you, if you're in Fusion 360 and you want to send it off to, uh, uh, to your slicer or printer, right, and you generate the STL file. Well, the STL file is a mesh file, a series of triangles. As opposed to, you can export it as a STEP file um, to send it off and like in uh, uh, what Bamboo Lab Studio um, well the step file is more like a vector file right so when you're looking at the sides it's 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 a cleaner surface but uh, well let me show you okay so you can see we're in Fusion 360 here and I created this uh, this little test file and it's uh, it's just a cup or a bowl, whatever you want to call it. But I just wanted a uh, a round edged, you know, a round piece so I can show you. So first, let's go to utilities, um, and we'll create this STL file. We'll go in millimeters. Let's see. Let's cut that off. And there's your mesh. And you can see it's a series of triangles. And I'm going to save this off. Let's see. And let's just call this uh, cup STL. Okay, now I'm going to take this same file and I'm going to export it. Under test fixtures, let's see, we want to save this as a step file. And it's under, and we're going to call it cup step and export. So there we go. So let's go and take a look at these files. So when you're looking at this, here's the STL file and you can see how much larger this file is and that's because you've put that series uh, uh, of triangles in the mesh and it increases the file size, right? Here with the step file, it's just a, a clean file, you know, just uh, um, like I said, like a, like a vector file. So you can see the difference here just from adding the mesh to it, it increased the size. So here's another comparison. Um, you can see I have the Bamboo Lab Studio open. Um, I just printed out of regular uh, generic PLA. Um, I can't remember which PLA I used, but let's start with, let's start with the the STL file. We'll drop that in and here we slice it. There's 36 minutes and 59 seconds. I'm going to write that down. So we see the time there and I'm going to save this and it's going to save it as the dot 3MF into the same folder. Okay, now, oops, let's take uh, let's take the step file and drop it into place. We'll slice it, and there we have 37 minutes even. So it's just about the same. Um, sometimes I have seen a, a, a difference in the time, but that wasn't what, just a, a minute, but we'll take this and I'm going to save it. This is the step. Okay. 
So let's take a look at the size here. So here we have, um, this one was, yeah, that was the STL. Here's the 3D, yeah, the 3MF. And we're going to compare this to the other 3MF. So you see up here, the step file, here's the, EM, uh, the 3MF. So you can see when we first start out, the STL file is larger because we added the mesh, right? It's larger than the step file. But now when we process everything, we slice it and export it as a 3MF, you can see how the, the step file is now larger than the STL file. And that's because of the change in G-code. Um, the step file, uh, yeah, it's just a change in G-code. And it's just a larger file. And I'm kind of surprised on this example that uh, uh, it was just barely, barely as far as the total time to print. It was only a minute or two difference, right? Um, sometimes I have seen it more than that. Yeah, so you can see um, the difference in the files, the file size, what it's doing uh, as the process goes along. And well, I took both samples, you know, the, the same uh, one from the STL and one from the step from the step file, and I printed it off in the, the P1S here. And I put them both in there. I used the same settings. I just out of plain PLA, you know, nothing special. And uh, well, let's take a look at the results. So here are the two samples. And let me see if I can get the, the right light reflection for you. Let's see. Can you see the difference between these two? You can see the lines down here on this one. Can you see the difference? How much more smoother that is on the top? Yeah, you guessed it. This is the step file. This is the STL. Yeah, so uh, that's it in a nutshell. You can see there is a difference. There's a difference in the file size. You can see what it's doing. And you can see some of the difference between these two simple parts. Um, now, most of the time, I'm, I'm using STL files. Uh, but there might be that time when I have a part and it's like, well, you know, I want to make sure I have that smooth rounded edge like that. And if so, give, st give a step file a, a, a shot, you know, experiment with it. But, uh, but I guess that's it in a nutshell. So that's it for this video. And as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and watch for my next video.